Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon Media. I am here with the Sydney, uh, very famous person on Instagram <laughs> and just the coolest girl ever. We're here in Lisbon, Portugal at the International Trend Vision Awards, well as International Twen Trend Vision Awards 2018. And I was so excited to meet you because I've written about you so many times. And first of all, let's just get into it. How do people follow you? What do you mean? <laughs> How do you spell your name? Oh, um, S-Y-D-N-I-I-E-E. -E. So, so we were sitting together at lunch yesterday, and I'm just like looking at you from head to toe, and she is just so fabulous. Let's show your nails first. And then even her shoes. She's got <laughs> cool shoes and a cool backpack. You walked in with this backpack, and, and you are really living the rocker life, and that's interesting because here you have this huge following on Instagram, but you do lead a rocker life. Tell us a little bit about that. I actually am hair and makeup for a touring rock band. So, are we allowed to say the name? Yeah, I, I tour with Ann Wilson of Heart. So, so and and you you were telling us how this is six months out of the year you do this. Yeah, well, yeah. So, so, how do you maintain a salon business, a hair business, and do that? Um, I actually just have like a really great clientele. Like my clientele is really understanding of like this lifestyle that I lead now, and they're actually really excited to be a part of it. Like, it's really fun to be able to be like, oh, yeah, my hairdresser's on tour with a rock star, you know? Like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and what's most interesting, I thought, about we were going over your page yesterday, and you have a lot of clever, challenging makeovers. And is that something that you attract? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say I built my following on doing transformations. Like, I had a lot of people that would come to me that had some issues with other hairdressers that they had been to and they would just come into me with these like major train wrecks and just be like help me and so I, I did <laughs> and that's kind of how I grew my following to begin with was because I would just take the time to like fix it. Okay and then one thing that's a delicate subject that I told you I was going to ask you is um, you know I've, I've interviewed other hairdressers and they will take a client for a day and charge four thousand dollars for the day but you don't. Tell us about your whole pricing structure. Right so Pricing for me is kind of like a touchy subject because there are a lot of people that, you know, they're they're all about like charging what you're worth, which I absolutely agree. Like you should do that. But to me, it's like I never want my client to feel like they can't pay a bill because they have to get their hair done. You know, that's kind of how I feel about it. Like I want everybody to have really pretty hair. So I just try to make my pricing as affordable as possible so that everybody can have it, you know. And so. Like, I know it's a really touchy subject, especially right now. There's lots of, like, talk about, like, what you should charge for what you're doing. And I think that's just, it's also personal. It's just really personal. And so I just don't agree, I guess, with some of the ways that people decide to charge. But that's their, that's their business. You know what I mean? That's their business. This is my business. And I prefer to remain affordable. So that one makeover that you showed us, and I am going to do a little story on that makeover, you said was seven hours, mm -hmm. and um, it's an amazing makeover. Go check out Modern Salon and, and to see the, you know, just Google her name or search her name and you'll find it. Um, what did you charge her? Um, I want to say that hers was probably at most $200. And it was seven hours. Seven hours. And, and you changed her life. I did. Yeah, I fixed it. <laughs> you know, it's... It, and now she's like a current client, comes to me and keeps getting her hair done. Every time she always talks about, remember how I came in? Oh my God, you fixed everything for me. And like, I love that, you know? And, and she doesn't, she didn't have to like have this burden of like having to fix her hair on top of having to like break the bank to do it. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. I just felt like it was a good experience all the way around. Okay, so then back to your rock star days, because I told you I wouldn't keep you for, for so long. Um, what are your biggest challenges when you are on tour? Um, I think it's adjusting to the lifestyle, because being an on-tour hairdresser and being a behind-the-chair hairdresser are totally different. Like, the, your day-to-day -day is just unexpected. I mean, and I guess behind the chair it is as well, because sometimes you never know what's going to sit in your chair or what you're going to have to do that day. But being on the road where you don't have all the resources that you need all the time, depending on what town you're in, like it, it offers its own challenges, but it's always interesting. It's always a lot of fun, and I like a challenge. Do you travel on the bus? Yeah. I live, I live on a tour bus. I sleep in a little coffin bunk, you know, with, with eight other people on my bus. <laughs> A, a coffin bunk. That's yeah. That's it's kind of it's appropriate for me. <laughs> that's what, 
when we were trying to figure out where to do this interview, she goes, I'm okay with the black, you know, just pan over here because we're getting ready for the International Trend Vision Awards and they're in rehearsals and it's just wonderful over there and we found this little black corner. Black and corner. <laughs> and they must love you, right? Oh yeah, like it's fun, you know. It, I, like I think I'm different <laughs> for them than other people have been. So, I mean, yeah, like and everybody clicks. So and do you cool. make enough money doing that that you can have a client for seven hours and just charge her a couple hundred dollars? Um, yeah. I mean, I I live the way that I want to. Like I don't live paycheck to paycheck. Like I live a comfortable life, but I also don't really need an extravagant life either. Like cost of living where I'm at fairly low you know so yeah like but I was I was charging that before I became a tour hairdresser like I never charged hundreds and hundreds of dollars for people to get their hair done even before I did the whole touring thing so it's just kind of always been how I felt from the beginning all right so last question I promise um, what how does one become that become the hair and makeup artist for a band like heart well, my story of that is actually a little different than I think most people would probably get into the business. I just went to a concert. I went to her concert. She saw me. She liked how I looked. She liked my vibe. And she said, do you want to do a photo shoot with me? And I was all, yes, absolutely. And then she's like, great. And on the photo shoot, while I was working with her, she asked me, do you want to go on tour? And I was all, yes, I think so. Yes. Yes, I do. And she's like, great. And so that's how it started yeah it was really I think it's just like it's just like any other client you know it's like you meet somebody and you vibe with them and you form a relationship and it sticks you know what I mean and that's what happened I mean obviously she likes what I do too because I mean her face is up in front of millions of people all the time but yeah I think a lot of it just has to do with any other client connection you know it's all about like the relationship that you form well, it's so great. Thank you for giving us this time. Have so much fun tonight. Okay. This is great. Have you ever been there before? to this before? No, I haven't. Oh, it's the best. It's so, super yeah, exciting. Yeah. It's yeah. great. So have a great time. Thank and so thank much. you for giving me this time. Oh, Thanks, yeah. Sarah. See you. Bye.